Hey guys, welcome to the second video of our video blog. Before we do that though, just a friendly reminder to subscribe, hit that like button and leave us a comment to tell us what you think. So if you recall in the previous video, I told you that at least in my mind, motivation tends to be the best predictor of how good anyone truly is at, well, honestly anything, but particularly something like investing. When I realized that people who are really good at investing are usually those who have really high levels of motivation, not necessarily those that come from a specific background or went to a specific university. And a certain type of literature attracted my attention. There were a number of case studies where have taken uh, groups of people who were non-professionals in whatever is it that we're trying to solve. And these groups of people, statistically, almost every time, I think the, the number that I remember quoted was something like 97% of the time, these groups of people were better than professionals who spent their entire life doing that particular thing. And they've done it with anything. They, they've searched uh, lost submarines in the sea or tried to guess uh, an average weight of an item at some kind of a, a county fair. In case with guessing a weight of a bull, uh, they've asked professional butchers and they've asked the crowd. And the crowd, on average, tended to have better predictions of what the bull weighs. And this particular pattern has been repeated through various industries and with applications to various types of things. So I thought to myself, look, this is a gigantic opportunity, right? Uh, you, you can have, uh, you know, potentially hundreds or thousands of Warren Buffetts out there that could be Warren Buffetts had they been given an opportunity. We were kicking the tires on an idea of doing something with this great amount of people out there who could be interested, particularly through the power of internet. Uh, internet gives you tools for mass cooperation, things like Twitter or massive online games where you can get a bunch of people together to achieve some kind of an objective. And I thought, well, this can be applied to the world of finance. This is how the idea was born. Um, we have tried several things and tried to combine it. We wanted to get a lot of eyes on a single uh, issue, like for example, where the price of Bitcoin is going to be and, and try to combine this this great wisdom into a single outcome and do this consistently and repeatedly on a daily basis so that whatever our view is on the market is constantly up to date uh, and constantly involves the most recent information and the best inputs that we can generate from this community. Why do we think it works? You know, reality is if you work for a large financial organization, places that you all know places like JP Morgan or UBS or BlackRock. No matter how big that organization is, usually you have one, two, you know, maybe three, at most 10 people that look at this particular market. If you're a professional institution and you have a single analyst or I don't know, maybe two analysts that looks at something like a Tesla stock, and on the other hand side, you have 10,000 people who are also looking at Tesla stock, who have access to all the same reports, who drive Teslas or know somebody who drives Teslas, who read the news, follow Elon Musk on Twitter, of these 10,000 people, the 1% should be at least as good as this one or two individuals in the professional universe, right? But um, what that 1% is shielded from um, is things that will happen to an individual. So for example, if you're a single analyst and you're sick, uh, you know, your partner left you, whatever happens to you, you will pay less attention to everything else and your performance might suffer as a result. If you have 10,000 people and you look at the 1%, well, you know, the 1% is non-static. Some people will become better, some people will become worse, but the 1% will always be there. So if you can zero in on that best of the best in a continuous fashion, Purely in theory, your information should be better, more consistent, and probably less biased. So this is essentially what we try to achieve. We built the first, um, what's called the minimum viable product, effectively a small game that we brought to the market to see if people would be interested in, in doing something of the sort. Now, we were quite lucky with timing because that happened in early 2020. If you recall, that was the time of the lockdowns. Um, people have generally had more time to themselves. Uh, people were more interested in finances because, or investing. A lot of people had uh, cash payments from the government or free time and a combination of this meant that many people want to invest for themselves. Uh, in fact, just in the US, we've seen over 25 million of new brokerage accounts being opened in the first two years of the COVID crisis. And um, that bunch of money and attention that came into the financial markets have caused some interesting disturbances. Uh, you've probably heard the GameStop saga and the Wall Street bet forum on Reddit and all of these things that were happening and, and flying through the news channel. I thought that was very interesting. But what that told us is that people are interested in financial markets. They're interested in investing. They do not get a good advice most of the time. And so a lot of times they, they lose money or end up 
being uh, embroiled into these odd stories, but but they're interested. So the interest is there, the motivation is there. We've tried our minimum viable product, so basically a mock-up of what this website would look like. Uh, and over 100,000 people who have stopped by and over 5,000 people who have stuck with us throughout this first trial run for the first several months that we've done. And we've seen that we could get, you know, with properly motivated people and a little bit of a good technology, we could get to interesting levels of prediction accuracy. This is something that uh, an iterative process. So, you know, obviously we uh, came up with a way of how to get people's ideas in a relatively high volume, how to accept a high volume of ideas uh, and how to effectively combine these ideas into something that looks like a, a community consensus uh, in pretty much a live fashion, which gave us um, a view on the market that's generated by thousands of people that is the most current view on the market you could possibly get because every new input from every new user that was playing the game effectively uh, altered what the community thinks and so essentially if on the new year's eve something important happened our algorithms our users and therefore our algorithms would respond to it within a matter of minutes generally if you ask a financial institution for some kind of a piece of insight it takes several days to get to you from an analyst that generates on our platform you had it instantaneously now the accuracy of this is something that we're working on we need much larger crowd to generate the results so we're still working on building the crowd but this aspect of it that you get something that's relatively unbiased uh, something that uh, gets to you as quickly as it gets to us it, it's in real time and something that is effectively being fed by people worldwide. So, you know, it's not just what Americans think about Tesla or Bitcoin or whatever, but it kind of follows around the clock with, with the sun. We thought that there is some real need in this. We, we thought that um, the numbers that we're getting and the community response that we've had to uh, the, this prototype that we put out there was very interesting. The team has grown since. More of my friends have joined uh, and we've built a newer better looking version of the platform with much better gods, much better algorithms uh, and uh, effectively created the platform the way that it basically looks now uh, and we're very excited about it. So this is the journey that we're inviting you on. Uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, click the like button, leave a comment. Uh, obviously there will be more videos and we would like to know what you want to talk about so we can kind of direct our next uh, efforts in this space according to our community's wishes. Come join us, uh, let's crack this market.